Okay, so I'm rebooting now. Uh, control R at the appropriate point to get into the RAID controller. There we go. So I've pressed Control R, and we just have to wait for the RAID controller to come up after it's initialised the devices. Okay, so here's the RAID controller. <coughs> so if I do Control N, there we go. There's my two drives. So they're sat there, ready, no errors. That looks good. And what can I do with under operations? Okay, that's just the operations menu. So let's go back. Control P. So we press F2 for operations. What we're going to do is create a new virtual drive. Right, so it's defaulting to RAID 0. RAID 0 is basically um, two drives joined together to form one large virtual drive. Or I think they call it striping. Um, now to be honest, what I really want is RAID 1, so that's mirroring. Uh, it's not letting me change it. That's interesting. We'll do F1. to select them both first. No. Ah, there we go, what an idiot. <laughs> you press, basically you highlight and press enter. Select grade one. Right, there we go. That's what I want. So, let's mark both drives. They're part of, form part of my RAID one. So I'm only going to get 139 gigs, or thereabouts. Um, but of course the advantage is with uh, RAID one, if you've got mirroring, so if one drive fails, you've still got all your data on there. On the other drive, uh, we can give it a name. Ooh, what should we call it? Do we want to give it a name? We'll just call it data, shall we? Um, advanced settings. Uh, I'm still about configuring the right back. I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. That's it then. So um, I think if I do exit, it would, that will do it. So escape. Are you sure you want to exit? Okay. Control Alt Delete to reboot. Did I select the right option there? <laughs> oh dear. Send the, send the control up, delete. Let's see what happens. So, when the RAID controller comes up now, we'll see if it actually recognises that um, virtual disk that I created. OK, 
Okay, here we go. So just bring the right controller up. Why does it take so long? There we go. One logical drive found on host adapter. One logical drive found by BIOS. So it's found it. Of course, the system will still fail to boot because it can't find an operating system. So what we need to do next is configure a virtual DVD stroke CD ROM drive, um, mount our ISO image, and um, basically boot the system via the virtual image that's mounted via the track card. That'll be the subject of my next video.